and and as the room goes, you know, uh, more and more people jump in as, you know, and, you know, it's the same thing. People jump in and out if they're interested in what you're saying. Um, and the key has, is what I'm finding as you spend more and more time, you know, giving, you know, making content on, on Clubhouse, then you become the, the draw, right? And then so people will come in because they know you have a value to offer. And uh, even if they don't stay, like, let's say, even if they say, okay, I'm going to jump in to see like what she's saying or what, like, so that takes time to build. Um, and so in a way, the ping, uh, if it, it can get over abused, like where, uh, you know, um, let's say for me, like I'm in the middle of a, a room that I'm moderating and then I'm getting pinged, <laughs> you know, then it's like, well, you know, um, not to say that the person should know that I'm moderating a room already. It's just that, you know, sometimes it can be like, uh, you know, notification after notification after notification. So uh, it can become uh, where I automatically just ignore the pings, you know. Um, so um, versus like if I was getting ping less and I was getting, you know, so let's say if I get pinged by a specific person and then I know this person, I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm going to jump in versus if I'm just keep getting pinged because, you know, I follow the person. Um, then I, you know, um, like I said, when we first got into Clubhouse, it was like all these features was the thing, but now it's really more, um, you know, uh, like what's newer than the ping. So that's I have to say, as somebody with ADHD, I like the pay. I like getting pinged because I don't always remember. Um, and sometimes, I mean, I'm not on Clubhouse all the time, and or necessarily near my phone at that moment. So it's great to come back and be like, "Oh, so and so pinged me. They must think that um, this room has value for me. I'm gonna go check it out." Um, or it's like, "Oh, yeah, I forgot this room was gonna be happening." So um, it's a nice reminder, at least for at least for me. So. Now, let's see, I, um, yeah, we're, we're going into the pinging, or we're talking about that, and uh, to me, I think when I was sharing, I jumped to sort of the solution or for working around the ping, if I don't feel like it's, it's really, um, like, I don't want to just ping everyone in all of the spaces that I'm in, maybe I just ping people if I feel like I, um, can think and remember that I spoke to them and thought that they would be really great in, in this conversation that I'm in. So then that's why I would ping them. And I guess the other thing is if you go to the ping, you can search for a topic like uh, if they're a chef or if they're into music and, or piano or something very specific, then you can see that it's been written out in their profile as something that they're probably interested in and passionate about, and then I could ping them. Um, but it is, so yeah, it is, that's how I feel like it's been useful for me to find like relevant people to ping. And uh, and then the other, the other thing I shared was then I do copy the link to actually message people who I want to join the room because, um, this is what what's actually really happened uh, in the past when I have pinged some people, they got into the room and then they told really like just was very direct and straightforward and told me, oh, you pinged me here. Like, why did you ping me here? <laughs> and I think at that point, maybe at some point I was just operating under um, the moderators telling me, oh, just ping everyone into this room <laughs> because we want to grow the room. And maybe they, they don't, they aren't even relevant people who would be interested in the topic, but they just showed up because they felt a connection with me or, um, you know, feels like they're my friend. But then they did ask then like, why did you pick me into the room? And it, it did feel a little bit embarrassing. Um, yeah, anyhow. <laughs> You know, I think I've be I've begun to just think, okay, especially for my grief rooms. I mean, for the my food my food room that's going to be that Katie and I are going to be doing next week. I, I'm going to think 
take a little bit different approach for that because it's not as sensitive a subject as grief and loss. But for my grief and loss rooms, I've just come to, to see it as, you know what, whoever needs to be there will show up. Um, and I, as long as I do all the things that I'm supposed to do in terms of marketing it and saying, Hey, this is happening. I really feel like I'm just going to put it out to the universe and, you know, whoever needs, whoever needs to hear the message that evening that they will show up. And, um, you know, so again, I keep going back to this past Wednesday, it was such a small room, but it ended up being probably a better thing that it was a small room because it was a really raw and, and vulnerable room and having a smaller room ended up working out. And so in, in that sense, if you're dealing with, um, really sensitive subjects or topics that, um, you know, have to do with mental health or, um, things like that, or, and, you know, in coaching and stuff like that, I think that, you know, whoever is meant to be there will be there. I've um I've gone to that mindset as well. The whoever is meant to be there, it will be there. Um, you know, it, only because I've seen that you know sometimes the topic may not be relevant to the person. And like Katie, many times you know, uh, people, I've I've been on stage where uh, you know someone will say, oh, so I'm I'm here because so and so invited me, and then they they really had nothing to contribute to the conversation. And they and then so the only reason they are here is because so and so and I was like oh okay, so uh, in those kinds of terms I you know I do tend to be uh, a bit selective regarding the ping, um, you know when I'm pinging someone and and then of course some days where it's like oh, okay you know I, I do feel like it you know if the topic is something then okay, um, you should be in this room and things like that and I'll ping people in. Um, but uh, I found like, you know, the, the longer I'm on Clubhouse, the, um, you know, those, uh, sometimes the smaller rooms, you know, are uh, more intimate and, uh, you know, you can have a great conversation and um, it may start, even start out small and get big, you know, uh, uh, just because the conversation is that, you know, uh, it just grows because now people are doing that. They're being very selective as to who they are inviting uh, versus like, you know, you telling them ping people into the room. Um, so, um, you know, we've, um, you know, the people I, I, I co moderate like we like just don't, we don't ask some people to invite anyone into the room. We just, you know, they come in and as they come in, you know, other people will come in and it's been able to be grown organically that way. Um, and like I said, I, I really do feel like this was a, a, a feature when uh, Clubhouse was new and they, there wasn't that many uh, features um, available. Um, so for me, like what I'm finding interesting is the, the way they've updated the search bar, right? And so uh, as they update the search bar, you can search, like I say, if you're searching spirituality, uh, not only will you you can search spirituality in people in clubs in you know like so you have many choices so that now when the 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 thing that you're searching not only do the people show up but the clubs show up but also even the the title of a room of a current room that's happening or a future room that's happening based on that search so um, it, it, Clubhouse is offering more and more features so that you can hone in specifically to what you want. So that way I feel it's a, it's a better way of, um, you know, uh, and, and there's multiple ways of like getting to the place that you need for you right now. But, uh, you know, uh, and not to say that I would want to get rid of the ping, because like, let's say if I want to, if I definitely do want to start a room and be pinging specific people, like, so uh, like earlier I, I, I created a room and it was a private room, a closed room, they call it, right, a closed room. And then I ping, you know, specific people into the room because you can choose the people. So that way, you know, um, you know, I think it's more, um, you know, con conducive because I was specifically calling those people uh, so that they can come into this uh, closed room with me. So in that way, I think the, the ping works better versus a general ping anybody here. Is that, is that in the search feature? Like, um, you look here, it's like, if you go to the little compass looking 
button? Is that what is that what you're talking?